Hey, what's going on everyone? Thinkaholic here, bringing you episode number 14 of my LP series. And we are picking right up where we left off last time. I'm just going to be putting a few things away first. Um, last episode we left off, we were on a little exploration. And we found uh, a jungle biome with some jungle wood and some cocoa beans. And we found a village, and I decided that I was going to make a little cocoa bean. What are you doing trying to come into my room? I don't think so. Who else we got out here? Got a couple of creepers, spiders. <sighs> you know, one of these days I'm going to actually do something with all this massive amount of... This massive hole that I have as a base, I, you know, I think I kind of, uh, I went a bit overboard. <laughs> I guess now's a, a safe time to, to make that assumption that I went a little bit overboard in making this base as big as I did. Because I really don't have a clue as to what to even put inside of this massive hole. I really don't. I had it in my head what I wanted to do and it's like... It's just too big. <laughs> so, um, anyways, um, and then oddly enough, the things that I'm building are not even in the actual hole that I dug. They're in the walls. So, anyways, let's, uh, what is it? I digress. Let's visit the little slimes. I haven't seen them in a while. Hey, guys. Bye, guys. Um, so, anyways, where were we? We left off uh, last episode discussing about how I had never made cookies and the idea originally came from me uh, playing on the walls server uh, playing on the walls too and making uh, cookies on there because they have a small little wheat farm and they have some cocoa beans because it's a it's a jungle biome that you're playing in so uh, you know you get a lot of cookies I, I never really uh, had made cookies before and didn't realize that with just two pieces of wheat and one cocoa bean you could make eight cookies so you could create a really really large amount of cookies with very minimal um, uh, ingredients so I searched around and found a video that I liked with a um, little tutorial on how to make a uh, cocoa bean uh, farm and decided that I was going to do that here in my little farm room. Um, I saw this on uh, Monkey Farm's uh, video, so uh, shout out to Monkey Farm. And uh, as if my LP isn't enough of a shout out, I mean, I, I love all his things that he does, so, uh, you know, why not just keep going, right? Um yeah, he, he built this uh, actually back when 1.31 uh, originally came out and they introduced cocoa beans. And um, I'm just now getting ready to do it, and here we are in 1.4. So <laughs> I'm a little late to the party, but uh, never, nevertheless, uh, you know, I wanted to do something. Um, it's been a while since, uh, you know, I was able to upload. I had to take a little break. And uh, so, yeah, we're just going to do this real quick. Um, it's not going to be a real, you know, good little tutorial of any sort. So, you know, if you are wondering what I'm doing, uh, be sure to check out his video. He's got a very detailed uh, description on how to do this stuff. And after I built this, I kind of look back at it and I really don't really too much care for the design I think it could be a little bit more compact and I think I'll be changing it around probably putting the button up on the wall and adding some more um, you know uh, logs uh, down the down the room here a little bit after it's all said and done uh, but yeah this uh, this will work just fine for right now uh, like I said we'll, we'll go back later on and uh, add on to it uh, I don't really have any decorative blocks, so I'll just use some cobblestone for right now. But this will be where the buttons go that will activate the whole thing. And what this is going to be is it's going to be a, you know, cocoa beans have to grow on uh, jungle wood. They can't grow in any other wood. So 
That's why I have the jungle wood. And the piston, which I'm placing now, will have the jungle wood on top of it. And I'll put the cocoa beans on it. And at the top in the ceiling, I will put a smart piston. So as you see here, when I mash this button, that the logs will go up and then come right back down. Just like that. And when you put the cocoa beans on there, and they're ready to harvest, you just hit this button, and it'll boom, it'll harvest them all, and they'll all drop to the floor, and I can pick them up and replant what I need and keep what I have left over and make a whole bunch of cookies. So it's a pretty simple, you know, easy uh, project to do. Um, it's not hard at all. It's, you know, not the, um, you know, hardest... Uh, thing in the world to do uh, as far as you know redstone I know a lot of people that are just scared of redstone and you know I'm not scared of it um, sometimes it, it's a little frustrating but uh, you know you, you get used to it and you figure it out so uh, you know for those of you that are a little bit more advanced with the redstone building something like this would be very easy so there you go there's the somewhat finished product so we got everything in operating order and now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and throw the uh, cocoa beans on here. Now this is the first time I've ever actually even dealt with cocoa beans. I've never even bothered messing with them because there's really nothing you could do with them besides making I think a dye and cocoa beans for cookies and that's that's it as far as I I know I don't know of any other use for them so that's it that's all you got to do I'll go ahead and test it even though they're not ready but there you go you hit the button and knocks all the cocoa beans down and like I said you pick them up and replant what you need to replant now the only catch to this is is that when you do plant the cocoa beans that you do have to plant them from top to bottom you can't leave any empty spots can't you know miss a single side or anything like that uh, actually I think you could just do it on one side of the log but it has to be straight up and down you can't uh, miss a, a log anywhere from the you know floor to the ceiling um, so yeah we'll go ahead and let those uh, begin to grow and finish them out and I got a few cocoa beans left here so let's go ahead and get a crafting bench down here we don't have to run all the way back to the storage room and where do I want to put this thing and we'll put it over here in the corner because I think I'm gonna build some more over there in that corner but now that we got that let's go ahead and harvest some wheat Stuff does love to take its time getting down here, so let's uh, move some stuff out of the way here. Okay, let's see what we got. Got 64, 32, two stacks of 64, and a stack of nine seeds. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and replant this real quick while I'm thinking about it, because if not, I'll forget. Okay, we got everything replanted, and they're not done harvesting yet, but they're, they're working on it. I don't know what the time frame is on what it takes to harvest a, uh, you know, fully grow cocoa bean but uh, yeah simple cookie recipe wheat on the two sides and cocoa beans in the middle and just off those eight cocoa beans I got 56 cookies so that's uh, that's pretty good um, the saturation form is a little bit low because just like in real life you know you you eat cookies it'll work for a little while but uh, you know you'll be hungry a lot sooner so I went ahead and went back to the storage room and made a chest real quick just to put all the stuff in and uh, keep a little bit on me 
All right, well, I guess that's it for right now. Guys, this has been Inkaholic, and this has been episode number 14, and hope to see you soon. All right, take care, guys.